What's going on YouTube? Today we are talking about my vehicle medical kit. But before we dive in, I want to preface this with this does not, it's not a full, you know, covers every type of medical aid or trauma or whatever. It has the basic items that I feel that I would need if, you know, I, there's a car accident or hiking injury or whatever that I could get by with until I got further help or got into cell coverage and was able to call 911 to assist. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so this is uh, more medical and they kind of just provide uh, a little standard base. I haven't ever really found any kits that are great, that come, uh, have a lot of everything in them. Uh, most of the time you'll need to put one together. It is something that with my background as a paramedic I would like to do. Um, but get into that for you. So right off the bat here, this is kind of something that most people won't have or need. Um, it is an IV bag and uh, tubing and then some IV needles. Um, you know, if you're going to be doing that, be sure that you're certified and you're not going out of your scope of practice or you know, you know actually what you're doing. So for me, I only carry that for hydration situations, dire need. Uh, Southern California, you know, we have a lot of desert out here, so it is something that I do like to have on me. Um, in here, you get grab trauma shears and gloves. So, uh, these are a little bit low, uh, but I usually carry 10 to 20 pairs for, uh, in there total. In this first pouch, this is all kind of your bandaging supplies. So, um, a lot of uh, Perlex, just which basically is, you know, the ability to um, kind of just roll or treat wounds. A lot of trauma, a lot of head wounds we can treat with this stuff. Um, basically, it will help to with this with 4x4, so I carry a lot of them because <laughs> anything from splinting to uh, you know, bleeding control, you can even do some type of pressure bandage with it. So I carry a lot of that in here. See, that's 90% that's of it. Probably a little overkill, but like I said before, this is more of a, a restock bag or grab if I need. Uh, just the ace wrap, so sprain, splint. Uh, or sprain or strain, we can use that. So all of these kind of just go in that, that front pouch. So pour that over to the side. This next one, this is kind of the cut scrapes, uh, the catch-all. So I have this charger in here for this flashlight because we never know if it'll be working at night. So just the LED light um, and it's rechargeable so I don't have to ever worry about the batteries. So I'll keep that plugged in. Some tweezers because you know, like you get something in your hand, a splinter, rock, whatever, um, or some sort of wound, it's always nice to have tweezers. Uh, it's just what we call a mini guard for IV stuff. Uh, here is an OPA. This is uh, in case we need to establish and maintain an airway on someone that doesn't have one. Uh, if you're trained in it, go ahead and use it. If not, don't worry about it, but it is something that is beneficial. Uh, lure lock so I can put, we can put normal saline in here and uh, flush out a wound if we needed to. Um, so that's why I keep that. There's also a lot of other uses for this. Uh, two tongue depressors. Um, not that I'll actually use any as tongue depressors, but they make good uh, splints in case you break a finger. Um, you know, you have these. So here's that saline packaged up, sterile. Um, but we can use it to flush your eyes. We can use it to flush out a wound. Um, and that's why I keep that 
uh, syringe there to add to that. Uh, bar of soap, so you can keep your hands clean. Um, you know, clean your hands prior to doing anything. More gloves in here. Uh, a lot of just towelettes to wipe your hands off. Band-Aids. This is like the boo-boo kit, if you will. And then I have another one that I made with just a lot more bandages. Um, so, more wipes, some ibuprofen bandages, and then we have, um, we have, you know, just our butterfly bandages, large, whatever, you know, this is cuts and scrapes, get a blister on your heel, and throw those on there, or whatever, and then an ice pack. We do have, um, right here right uh, the name escapes me right now can't even think of what they're they're used for I'll, I'll figure that one out right. and then uh, iodine and you know basically just to wipe down a wound clean it a little bit more thoroughly. this is kind of more of our trauma bleeding control um, so Kurt, um, Kurt. Coban here. Coban is great for you know putting pressure on the wound. Uh, if you bandage someone up to kind of keep it wrapped up and keep pressure on it, it's always good. Triangular bandages they can be used to treat obviously our our breaks, um, you know, shoulders injury, arm injury, but you could use it as a you know, a really makeshift tourniquet. So I carry two of those. They will absorb some blood, so you can use that. Uh, two rolls of medical tape. Uh, one is a cloth tape, and then one is just like the uh, regular medical tape. Um, this is Celox, uh hemostatic gauze, so for bleeding control. Um, but any type of uh, hemostatic gauze that you use, you want to make sure that you keep the bandage with them because um, the trauma doctor, or surgeon, whatever might is going to want to see what you've used. <clears throat> uh, this is one of those not really great uh, uh, tourniquets, but it is one that came with it, so I keep it in here. I do have an actual Cat9 tourniquet, but, um, and I have a, a, a few other forms. Um, <clears throat> I have an Israeli bandage here. I carry two of those for bleeding control, for pressure bandage. <clears throat> They're the four inch ones that do make larger. Uh, the four inch ones usually should work fine for most instances. More Curlex inside of there, but this is just a knockoff Sam Slint. Um, basically aluminum, like uh, almost like a aluminum web in there with some foam on the outside. Pretty much treat or splint most injuries if needed. The uh, only reason I any splint is because if the person would actually be able to walk out or um, you know carry themselves out. I do keep <coughs> this manual in here. It does have a little bit of like different treatment because I may not be the one doing it. So. Um, I may be able to guide them through it and look through this and say, hey, to figure it out. Um, this stuff is awesome for those burns that don't, you know, don't encompass large areas. It helps to slow the burning process. And uh, man, if you have this, let's say you burn your hands or something, you cut a little section off, this stuff works wonders to just relieve that pain. So burn free, uh, I... I highly recommend it. I've used it a few times on myself. Uh, Halo chest seal. You don't need to go this advanced. I just happen to be able to get one of these. Um, so you could just use petroleum gauze and it would work to essentially do the same thing. But, um, you know, the likelihood of me having to use this is probably pretty, pretty slim. Uh, at least for hiking incidents or something like that, but you never know, so I have it on here. All the other stuff is just um, you know, 
burn dressings. The burn dressings are just thicker. You can wet them down um, if needed or use them dry. Um, so some just smaller, like four by fours, um, abdominal dressings, eye pads, uh, that sort of thing. And that is it. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff you could put in here and there's a lot of stuff that I have outside of this um, that you know can really treat injuries but for the most part this this will do you uh, as far as the major trauma incidents or your small cuts and scrapes um, that's why I keep it on me and in my truck I also have a smaller kit that I carry on me every day and I have one uh, smaller trauma kit that I carry in my truck that's yeah, easier to access than this but Anyways, I hope you liked it. Please smash that thumbs up button, um, you know, or like button, whatever you want to call it. And uh, hit subscribe if you enjoy this content and you want to see more. Uh, also, if you really like this video, leave a comment down below. Uh, what have you found that is beneficial for your medical kit or incidents you've ran across that you're like, man, I wish I had that. You know, like simple stuff like ointment or whatever. Um, those are other things that I like to carry and like to see how often you guys use the simple stuff rather than the more advanced stuff like halo dressing. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember, tap that like button, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.